Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another tutorial. I've been super sick lately, but I've been messing around with these smoke simulations. So today I wanna to show you guys how to create a smoke simulation in Blender. It's super simple. Um, we're gonna be using the quick effects tab again, which is uh, the same way we created our liquid simulations last time. So what you wanna do is open up a new Blender project. I'm gonna just go ahead and delete this light for now. I'm gonna click on my cube and I'm gonna to go to object, quick effects, quick smoke and just like that we already have a smoke simulation but we're gonna go in here and we're gonna customize everything so let me just quickly save this project to the desktop as smoke simulation I spelled everything wrong hold on one second guys okay cool I'm gonna go ahead and save this so now I want to hop over to cycles before we do anything else GPU all that go to my rendered view and just check this out I'm gonna go ahead and add in a point light I'm just gonna move it over here and I'm gonna make sure we can kind of see what's going on here. So I'm just gonna give it a value of a thousand. And as you guys can see, we already have a smoke simulation just like that. If that's what you were looking for, there you go. But I'm gonna show you guys how to completely customize this and we're gonna make our own smoke um, effector or our, I'm sorry, our own smoke emitter. So I'm actually going to click on this box. I'm gonna go over to my physics properties on the right. So this is a gas domain. And down here in our cache settings, we actually want to make a new folder. I'm just going to call it smoke sim one. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to press accept. And then I'm going to click on where it says type here and click on all. So now we can actually bake our simulation. Now I'm just going to make this 100 frames and I'm going to go to my output settings and also make that 100 frames. The reason I'm doing this is so that for the tutorial we can quickly bake our simulation without having to worry about waiting forever. All right, so this cube in the middle, I'm going to delete that. And we're gonna make a uh, mesh, we're gonna make a Taurus. So we have our Taurus right here. Now you guys can completely customize this right here with this little pop out. Um, you can adjust the radius. I'm gonna give this a fair amount of segments. Yep, on both dimensions there. And then you guys can adjust the radius here. I think something like that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I'm gonna click on this, I'm just gonna shade it smooth. You don't really need to do that. And then I'm going to go over to my physics settings. I'm going to add a fluid physics setting and I'm going to add a flow. And then for the flow type, we're going to click on smoke. And then this is where we get to decide if we want it to be uh, some smoke that is constantly flowing or we want it to be just a puff of smoke. In my case, I want to do like a puff of smoke. So I'm going to click on geometry and what that's going to do is there's going to be smoke that basically fills this ring and then we can just send it whatever direction we want. So in this case, I'm going to send it uh, with an initial velocity on the Z axis um, in a positive direction. So I'm just going to do 10 for our Z axis and remember we're on geometry. And then for this initial temperature, I'm going to do zero. So everything looks to be set up properly. Now let's go ahead and click on our domain and then Right now, by default, 32 is the resolution divisions. We're gonna keep that for now. I'm gonna collapse that. And then for our density, I'm just gonna click on zero. And then I'm just gonna bake the simulation. We're gonna give that a quick second and just see what we have here. So now, as you can see, we have a very low resolution smoke simulation that sends a smoke cloud up from our Taurus. Now, the more uh, resolution divisions that we have with our smoke simulation, the more like the higher quality this will be so i'm going to free all for a second i'm going to go to my side view and kind of expand this and i'm going to make it a, something that i like a little bit more so this is our domain that i'm moving around and i'm just going to do that so now we should have uh, a way for our smoke to kind of hit the top and just give our simulation a little bit more room here so i think what i'm going to do now is i'm going to raise our resolution divisions to 100 and I'm gonna to go to my solid view and then I'm gonna bake this. Now this is gonna be a much higher quality um, smoke simulation. As you can see, it's taking much longer. And if you look in the corner there of the box, you can actually see this little cube. That's actually the size of the particle, I believe. Similar to a fluid simulation, you're actually gonna be able to see you know, that quality. And that little box is an indicator of the level of quality that we're gonna get with this smoke simulation. And I'm super excited to see how this comes out because uh, I have not baked this exact simulation before, so you don't really know what you're gonna get until you're done. Again, make sure you guys are selecting a folder um, for your smoke simulation to be exported into, the actual bake itself, so that you guys can recall that if something happens. 
All right, looks like our simulation is almost done. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this is gonna look like. As you can see, it looks really, really cool. Um, it's a much higher quality smoke simulation at this point. Let's go to our rendered view. This is looking really, really awesome. So as you can see, guys, it starts out as a ring. Now, again, with this Taurus, I'm gonna hide it from the rendered view and the viewport so that this is actually how it'll start out. And then it kind of rises into this plume shape, just like that. Now, you're probably wondering, Kenny, it's really hard to see. We're gonna go ahead and make that much easier to see. So at this point, um, I'm pretty happy overall with our smoke simulation. You guys can render this at a higher value if you want, and you can bake it at like 200 or 300. I wanna go ahead and show you guys how to make this smoke look really cool. The first thing I'm gonna do is set up a really nice camera angle. So I'm gonna click on my camera. I'm gonna reset every single value to zero. I'm gonna make that X rotation 90, and then I'm gonna pull it back on the X axis this way, okay? And then I'm gonna turn it towards our smoke simulation. I'm gonna to snap to the view, and then I'm gonna change my project dimensions to 1080 by 1920. 1080, there we go. All right, cool. So now we're kind of looking towards the smoke simulation. I'm gonna hide my timeline here so we have more to work with on our screen. You guys can see everything okay, perfect. I'm gonna kind of raise this up on the z-axis. I'm gonna get to a point that looks really good. That looks nice. Now one of the things I wanna do is actually go to my world settings and I'm actually going to just make my world completely black and already we can see our smoke so much better, right? So we have a nice smoke simulation here. I'm gonna also back my camera up quite a bit so we can see the full thing. This is looking really good. Let's go ahead and click on our smoke domain and head over to the shading tab. So in our shading tab, I'm gonna to switch to rendered view. I'm gonna to snap to my camera and let's go ahead and find our nodes here. There they are right there. Now it's gonna give you a bunch of different values here by default. This density value is the thing we're gonna to wanna to change. By default, Blender makes it five. Watch what happens when we make it 100. See how much thicker this smoke cloud is now, right? So this is at 100 and then this is at five completely different. So this is the value you're gonna to wanna to change to completely um, modify your actual look for your smoke. Now, of course, you can change the smoke color as well. I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna keep it at that nice white gray color. And I'm gonna snap back to my camera view. And now we're gonna to wanna to move our point light around to kind of give this uh, a look that we desire. Now, what I'm thinking is I'll probably go to my animation tab, switch to my rendered view here, so that I can see on the left what is happening. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move my, I'm gonna go to my top down view on this side, and I'm just gonna move my light around until we have this nice shaded effect right here. And you guys are gonna see what I'm doing in just a moment. Now my power for my light is a thousand. I'm gonna duplicate it, shift D, and I'm gonna bring this one forward in front of the camera, and I'm gonna bring it up a bunch on the Z axis and kind of mess around with that setting until we kind of get something we really like. Now, I just want this radius to be really high so that it kind of fills in our shadows. So I'm gonna set the radius to three. So as you can see, we have two lights. Now I want another light though, because I wanna give this some really dynamic um, look here. So let me go ahead and move this to the side. And I'm gonna make this one blue, just like that. Now, if you see, there's this slight blue edge here. I'm actually gonna turn my radius down to one I'm gonna keep turning it down. As you can see, when we lower our radius, we, our radius, we have these nice soft shadows. And again, this is where you guys can kind of decide how you want everything to look. I'm just doing this because I think this looks really cool. You guys can completely customize this to your liking. And then again, we can go back here. We can adjust this as well. I actually think that looks really good. Cool. And then again, we can go back to our shading tab and we can completely customize the shader for our domain. Maybe make our density 30 or so, so you can still kind of see through it. This is a density of 20. As you guys can see, it's gonna completely change the way that your smoke looks. If you bump it up to 300, you have an extremely thick smoke cloud. Again, the angle is gonna completely change the way this all looks. From a top-down perspective, you can see the edge of this, but it's very thick smoke. This is the original value, right? So that original value is like honestly so faint that you can barely see the details. So you might wanna raise it up to something like 50 or 100, so you really have that thick smoke effect. 
And again, you guys can change the coloration as well. Another thing I'm going to do is go to my color management tab within my scene settings and I'm going to change my look to medium high contrast. It kind of just really brings out those shadows and highlights and it looks really, really good. All right, let's go ahead back to our animation tab and just mess with the lighting just a little bit more. Hold on one second. Sorry guys, I'm getting a call. I always get a call when I am live streaming um, and I unfortunately cannot take that call because I'm in the middle of a tutorial. All right. Let's go ahead and lower our radius a little bit more for that. Another thing you could do is make an area light. Okay, guys. Make that a square area light on the side here. Where is it? There it is. For some reason, it's not showing me the size. Where is it? Oh, boy. What have I done? We're going to undo that. We're going to go back to the point light. All right, we're just going to keep it as a point light. So that looks pretty good. But if you zoom in, it looks kind of pixelated, guys. So I think I'm actually going to adjust uh, some settings here to show you guys how to kind of increase that quality. If you go over to your scene settings and you go to volumes, uh, these two values right here are for the viewport and the render. I'm actually going to lower those both down to 0 0.1. And that should give you some sharper edges there with less of that pixelated kind of look. That looks really nice. So when you actually go to render, it should look really nice. Um, I'm also going to go to my light path settings before we go ahead and render. I'm going to set everything to 2. And then for our volume, I'm going to set that to 10. So now if we add all that up, that should be 18 total. That looks really good. Um, again, we're using GPU. I might turn off my denoising. Sometimes when you denoise these smoke simulations, they actually look worse. Uh, max samples, I'm going to do 300. Um, dimensions should be good. If you want, you can turn on this setting fast GI approximation. It doesn't seem to affect anything too much. Um, I actually think it looks pretty good that way. Uh, and again, I'm probably going to go in here and mess with my light a little bit more. Let's see if I can bring it into the front just a little bit more and maybe bring down that radius. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that so far. And again, you guys can completely adjust all of these settings as well. I'm pretty happy with the way this has turned out so far. Um, I'm thinking with the camera angle, maybe we raise it up a little bit and kind of point it more down towards our smoke simulation. So it starts out as this nice ring and it rises up like that. Now the smoke simulation isn't very long, so I might rebake it. Um, I like to also look at it from this top down view. It looks really, really cool. Um, you have these nice ridges in here that kind of define the smoke simulation itself. Luckily, my computer is able to handle this. A lot of people's might not be, so you might want to start with a lower resolution for your actual simulation there. I'm thinking, <coughs> excuse me guys, getting over a cold here, but this looks really good. <coughs> And I love the edge right here where you have this nice light coming through. I just think that looks really, really good. Um, and again, you guys can raise your power of your lights. Kind of just takes some fine tuning to get, get it just right. You might even be able to go below like that. That looks pretty good too. Yeah, this is just all about experimenting with the light to get the effect that you want. I think this looks pretty cool. Um, you could even just render just this one frame um, and just kind of see what that looks like. But let me just render a frame, see what we're getting here. And the greatest part about this is that you guys can actually go in and you can create any shape you want for the um, for what is emitting this smoke here. And these renders are going to take a minute <laughs> because it's very there's a lot for Blender to do here to kind of calculate this. Yeah, five minutes. That's a long time. We might not rate, wait for the full render here, but this is going to look really, really good when it's done. Cool. So I think I'm going to mess with the settings of the smoke domain a little bit more. More or less, that is the tutorial. So if you guys want to click off, you can, but I'm just going to kind of keep messing with this shading a little bit. Um, that density value is going to completely change the way that this looks. As you can see, when I go ahead and change that, it completely changes the way the smoke looks um, from all angles. So from the top, it looks really, really cool. 
Um, and you guys can capture different angles of this as you please. This looks awesome. I'm really, really happy how this turned out. Um, the only thing I might change is just a longer simulation. So maybe what we do is we go to our solid view and just go ahead and rebake this uh, at like 250 frames. Why don't we do that and just see what that ends up looking like. And then I think I'm going to raise the value of my Taurus, like the, um, the initial velocity. Right now it's at 10. Maybe we make it 30. And then I'm going to go to my output settings. I'm going to do 250. And then I'm going to click on this the domain. I'm going to scale it on the Z axis a little bit. And we're just going to see if we can get a bigger simulation here out of this. Let's go ahead and bake the simulation. Right now we're at 100 subdivisions or sorry, resolution divisions. You guys, if you guys go ahead and make that like 256, I can guarantee you, you're going to get a completely different result. Um, a much higher quality result. I'm just not going to do that for the tutorial. But I did want to show you guys that it is easy to um, get a higher quality result. You just have to wait a lot longer. I did a physics simulation recently f with smoke. It took hours to <laughs> to uh, bake. So right now this is actually going fairly quickly. I didn't think it would. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wait this out for a second in this tutorial and I'm going to check my comments on my live stream here. Happy New Year, bro. Yep. Happy New Year. <clears throat> hello. 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 Could you please give me the, pro the project file? So guys, um, yes, I hate to be this guy, but the project files will be available if you support me on Patreon. Yes, um, so that is kind of like another way that helps me support the channel, kind of keep things going here. Um, if you guys do support me on Patreon, you get access to all of the tutorial files. All right, look at this. We have a completely different smoke simulation now. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Whoa. Look at that. That looks awesome. Let's check a render view. Whoa. Look at that. So now this is what I kind of was hoping for here was a little bit more of an intense and obviously this this simulation, <coughs> excuse me, is longer. But look at that. You have this nice plume and then it kind of ri keeps rising there. Wow. Look at that. Very, very cool. Uh, and then again, if you go to that rendered view there, that looks really awesome and it starts to collide with the walls here which is kind of expected because that is your boundary of your smoke simulation uh but that pretty much wraps it up guys i have a call that i gotta take um hold on one second i'm gonna call him right back um i do have a call that i have to take so i'm gonna hop offline i'll hop right back online guys um but take it easy, and I hope you enjoyed this simulation. I will show you the final result um, on YouTube, but I just have to kind of edit that together and render everything out. Guys, take it easy. Make sure you check out the Patreon, the Discord, Instagram, TikTok. Um, we're even on Rumble, which is a new app. But go ahead and message me if you guys have any questions. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.